Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. My name is Andrew. Today we're in Minecraft Education Edition. So today we're going to do Python 101 Lesson 10. So this is the last lesson. So first let's talk to the CEO. He says, I want to thank you for being of such a great help here at Coding Mine. We just need your help with one last thing. We want to ship the agent out to the public. However, we need to stress test it a bit more first. That is why we have developed a testing area where you will be able to complete challenges that will test the usefulness of the agent. So now you can also compete against a friend and press two players, but right now we're only going to do one player. So we're going here and then here. Then we're going to have to complete a certain amount of challenges. Within And each challenge has like 300 seconds. So for our first challenge is blinding light. So you can see a timer at the top for each challenge. So first, blinding lights. Make the agent place the redstone lamps in its inventory on top of the redstone blocks while walking uh, forwards on the walkway to the gold block. So here it's to place the redstone lamps on the redstone blocks. So first, we can see a pattern here. There's one on the right, then you walk two times, there's left, and then it repeats until it goes all the way to the gold block. So let's do a loop. For I in range, we're going to do one, two, three, three times. We're going to do um, agent dot place. Uh, we're going to do right first. Then we're going to do agent dot move. Oh, and include the colon and the tab then forward to then we're going to do agent dot place left then after we go left we're going to do move forward again to the right one to the uh, redstone box on the right so now let's run it So it's placing all the blocks. And now I reached a gold block. So now it'll see correct and it'll go to next challenge. So if you do anything wrong, you can also go to here and press the button to reset the challenge. So now we have to, can you, well, uh, can you make the agent move over every block in the area sideways, row by row without it turning? So the agent has a turn, a command, which would take more time, but he, we have a way of, we have a shorter way of getting of getting to the gold block without making a turn. So we can also make it go sideways by doing agent move right or left. So first, we're gonna make it go right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times. So we're gonna do agent dot move right. We're gonna do eight times. Then to go to the next row, we have to go to agent dot move forward one then we're gonna go left eight times and then move forward to the next set of rows and then we're gonna repeat all of this with a four with a four loop for i in range we're gonna do it let's see one two three four four times and then we're going to add the colon and the tab. Then we're going to run it. And we may have to make it go forward the last time. Or maybe not. So go first pair of rows. Now second pair of rows. Third pair. And the final fourth. And then reach the gold blocks. Next, we have pumpkin or melon. Okay, so our next challenge is to destroy the melon. So make the agent move forward to the gold block while breaking the melons but leaving the pumpkins alone. So the green blocks are melons and the orange ones are pumpkins. So I like to do it manually. So you can just code the agents to move forward and break the melon blocks. Another way to do it is to do a repeat loop and where the agent inspects each block on his right. And if it's a melon, it will uh, destroy the block. But I, 
I will use the manual way. So first, we can see that the first first three pump uh, melons are in a pattern. So we're, we're gonna make the agent move. First, I'm gonna make the agent go move forward one time. Then we can go in a repeat loop. So for I in range, we do it three times. We're gonna do agent dot destroy on its right, and then we're gonna do agent dot move forward two times to the next pumpkin. I mean to the next melon. Then. Uh, I think that works. Let's see. Destroy, destroy, and destroy. So now, I'm kind of miss one pumpkin. So I have to move backwards and then destroy it. So we're going to delete the for loop. And we're going to agent.move uh, back one time and then destroy the right. So now we only need to move for three times, destroy and move to the gold block. Move forward three times, destroy right and then move one more time to the gold block. Destroy the melon and then onto our next challenge. So our next challenge, we're gonna we delete the code, so I already deleted that from the beginning and end of each line. Finish the code so that the agent moves towards the gold block and counts each diamond block it passes over. At the end, when the agent reaches the go to the gold block, the agent should then place the number of diamond blocks it passed over in front of it one by one. These blocks will be automatically stacked by a piston. So now we're gonna add an if loop right here. If agent dot inspect. So here it inspects a block somewhere. So we're gonna do it down. Down and then it'll get the type of the block and equals diamond block. Diamond block. Here we're going to Add one, one to the variable diamond, which helps the agent count um, the number of diamonds it passed over. Now we're gonna run it, and then it'll just. All you can see is just going all the way here. So now it's gonna stack the number of diamond blocks it passed over using data from the variable. So now we got it. On to next challenge. What's that syntax? This one is kind of fun. So here we have custom blocks, which is syntax, left parentheses, right parentheses, quotation marks, commas, columns, and periods. So here, our instructions are the code below is missing all of its syntax. Add the correct syntax in the coding widget to make the code run. Then place the matching missing syntax blocks in the world. So that's to do stuff manually. So here's the sample code. We have to fix the sample code and add the syntax. So first we have a for loop. So for i in range is correct. Then we have to add parentheses, 10. So that's the parentheses are the mixing, missing uh, syntax. Then we also have to add a colon for the for loop. The tab doesn't matter because it's already there. So agent. So for the function, we have to do agent dot move. So we have a, a, a period there and then we also have parentheses and a comma for the second line and for the third line we have to do player dot save because it's another function then we're going to do parentheses finished so here we're wishing we're uh, missing the period the parentheses and the quotation marks so here we're going to go the agent's a gold block. 
Then we're going to get the quotation blocks. And then we're going to add the missing syntax. So here, first, in the first line, we're missing two parentheses and a So we're going to add these blocks right. and a so column. Fun. Yeah, it's, it is so fun. There are also extra blocks, so in case you make any mistakes, you can just keep doing it. Then, second line, we have a period first. Period, then parentheses. Then parentheses, comma, and parentheses. Uh, this is comma. Okay. Then for our last line, we have a period, parentheses, and quotations. So period, parentheses, and then the two quotations. So this is probably the most fun. Next is challenge, spring arrival. So here, we have to, in the coding window, you have been given a code that does not work. Delete the quotes in the beginning and end of each line. This code is supposed to plant flowers on each block of grass and making the agent move through the area row by row. Can you finish the code by adding conditional and debugging the main loop? So first we're going to move the quotations. So the code will can run. Okay. Then we're going to have to look for um debug well bugs and we have to add a condition I think so here we're trying to put roses I think on each of the grass blocks so now I fixed it and now here we have to change from the four repeat loop to five so that it will match up and reach the gold block then here instead of the if true because then it will place block it will try to place a rose on every single block which is uh, not good and we're going to change the age to Asian inspect and look down and see if it's grass then it if it's, it is grass it will place down the rose if not it will move forward then the others are just uh, the agent dot move and turns to go down the rows so now we're going to run it and you should place the roses on the uh, grass blocks. So one rose, two rows. It is sometimes it would just walk so slow. We got the third rows. We got the fourth rows, and then the last rows. And then now it only needs to reach the gold block. Okay, correct. Now our next challenge. Okay, so for our next challenge, it's very simple. First, we have to make the agent mine the diamond ore behind it, and then drop the mine diamond into collection area at the other end. Make the agent return, mine the emerald ore that will appear, and drop it in the collection area. So basically, the agent is the miner. So first, we're gonna do a repeat loop since we have to do diamond and emerald. So for iron range, two times. We're gonna first agent.destroy and back. Then we have to do agent.collect all to get the diamond and the emeralds. Um, then we're gonna agent.move forward eight times to the pit. We're gonna drop all. Agent.drop all. Then we're gonna move back to the block place. Agent.move back eight times. And then it should run for both the diamond and the emeralds. Now there's also extra XP. The agent's fast. Yeah, it's so fast. Correct. Next challenge is diamond or dirt. So here we have three diamond blocks and three dirt blocks. So here we have to place the blocks in the gold blocks for us. Okay. So here first, it's a math question. Write some code to calculate the answer to these four expressions shown here. You need to get the agent to gold block. Do this by placing a diamond or dirt block in the chest, depending on the answer of the expression. From left to right, if the answer is 1, place a diamond block. If it's 0, place a dirt block. So here, we can easily solve this by using a pretty fun function. So here, 
in Python, it's pretty easy to solve an expression. Today we're gonna use agent dot wait, we're gonna do player dot say. This will help us this will make us uh, run uh, say something in chat. So we're gonna copy the expressions. We're gonna put them in say. Then the function will solve the expression and write and our player will say the answer. We're gonna do the same for all of these um, expressions. And the, the, the answers will only be one or zero. Okay. So we're gonna do this. And then if it's one, I think, if it's one, you place a diamond block. If it's zero, you place a dirt block. Okay. Then we're in the last one. Uh, now we're going to run it. So here we have one, one zero, zero, one, one zero. zero. So we place one diamond block, one dirt block, one diamond block, and one dirt block. Now we're gonna do agent dot move forward. Agent dot move forward how many times? One, two, three, One, two, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight times. So we can walk over the air. Last challenge is the agent labyrinth. It's basically a maze. Navigate the agent through the maze. Write some code to use the colored blocks as forward, left, and right controls. For the agent's movement, then control the agent to the end of the maze by standing on the colored blocks. So here, you just have to get the agent through the maze. So first, we're gonna move forward three times. Two. Oh yeah, two. Agent dot move for two times. We're gonna run that. Then we're gonna move it right. One, One, two, three, four, five times. And then move forward two times again. Yeah. Forward two times. Then next we have to move left. right three times okay so now we have to move left five times no. six times six times left six times then it's also move forward two times right? yeah one two yes Next, we have to finally move left four times. Then we can delete the forward. We're going to run it. And now correct. So congratulations, lesson complete. Your score is nine. So your score is like based on how many challenges you completed correctly. So there are 10 challenges. Okay, so now we basically completed Python 101. Well, well, that, that was, was fun, fun, and, and that's, that's it for today. today. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Remember, Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye bye. It's one zero one zero, right? So, do this. No. Huh? <laughs> okay.